Located on one of the highest points in Elgin, Old Main is the home of the Elgin History Museum. Completed in 1856, Old Main is constructed in the Greek Revival style popular in the United States in the early 18th century. Meant to mimic an ancient Greek temple, the building features symmetrical shapes, columns with a prominent center pediment above, a porch entry with decorative door surround, and dental molding along the roofline. The building is topped with a cupola meant to look like a miniature temple itself. The cream-colored bricks come from a vein of clay that runs from East Dundee all the way into southern Wisconsin. Inside and out, Old Main tells the story of Elgin. Old Main's history begins only a few years after the founding of Elgin in 1835. The foundation of the building was laid in 1848 by the Free Will Baptists with an intent of establishing a college in Elgin. Money soon ran out and it lay unfinished for many years, but not before the unfinished foundation was the site of a secret meeting between Dundee Cooper, Alan Pinkerton, and a band of counterfeiters he was seeking to expose. Prominent citizens later pursued the site for a private high school and started building Old Main in 1854. In 1856, the Elgin Academy became the first occupant. In a time when public education did not include high school instruction, Elgin Academy was the first private upper school west of the Allegheny Mountains. It was unique among private schools of the time because it was non-denominational and admitted both young men and women. Old Main originally featured several chimneys necessary to heat the large building. Students came to school with their books and wood to add to the stoves in each room. Water was carried inside from a deep well in the yard, and outdoor privies stood behind the building. City water, steam heat, and electricity were added in the 1890s. Inside, the east side of the first floor was used as living quarters for the headmaster and his family. Today, this area houses the Elgin History Museum's pioneer and 19th century exhibits. The west end, divided by a corridor, had rooms students could rent. Today, visitors learn about 20th century Elgin in this space. The second floor of the building housed the entire operations of the school for many years. In time, the second floor would house a gymnasium and auditorium, as well as classrooms and two recitation rooms. On the second floor, the Elgin History Museum created an exhibit and meeting space in what was once the school's library and assembly room. Original metal support columns sit in the center of the room. A stencil design decorates the wall and is a reproduction of the original design found in the room. Today, the third floor houses artifact and archive storage, administrative offices, and a reading room with many books on Elgin history. The third floor of the building was originally left open except for an enclosure around the stairs to the cupola. The large open space could be rented for community meetings approved by the headmaster and the board of directors. In time, the space was converted to classrooms. The current third floor archive storage room was once a chemistry lab and shows evidence of experiments and perhaps careless students on the floor. In the museum's object storage room, original interior windows still remain. These windows previously divided classroom space and now peek out among the shelves of Elgin artifacts. Modern renovations in this area also included access to the large space under the roof and maintenance access to the cupola. The interior of the building has been remodeled and updated to accommodate gallery space, modern bathrooms and HVAC, an elevator, and an emergency staircase. Yet the long hallway and original window openings give a picture of what the building looked like in 1856. Old Main was struck by lightning in 1911, causing the cupola to catch fire and the school bell to fall through the roof, landing on the first floor. The cupola was rebuilt, but Old Main would have a flat roof until its renovation in 1980, when the distinctive gabled roof was replaced and the cupola was raised to its peak, making it visible again from downtown Elgin. The original Elgin Academy bell was moved to a site on the campus. Although the current cupola is fiberglass, it is authentic in style and size and adds a striking focal point to the building. Old Main was occupied by the Elgin Academy until 1969, when financial pressures and needed safety improvements led to its abandonment. The Elgin Academy offered Old Main to the city of Elgin in 1976, and a large-scale fundraising campaign for its preservation began. Old Main drew citywide support as Elgin's bicentennial project. Despite another fire in 1978, the exterior of the building was restored by 1980. Most of the original exterior brickwork was saved. Where bricks were missing or damaged, replacements from a demolished building in Milwaukee built in the 1850s were used. 
Interior renovations continued, and in 1987, the Elgin History Museum opened. Today, visitors to the museum can view exhibits on Elgin history on the first and second floor, attend lectures in the second floor meeting room, and do research in the third floor reading room. Spurred on by the restoration of the exterior of Old Main in 1980 and the conversion of the John Newman Mansion into Butterman's Restaurant in 1976, the surrounding neighborhood was designated as the Elgin Historic District and placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1983. Old Main stands proud as a symbol of Elgin's past, present, and future.